The White House held a confidential briefing with top secret information with members of the House of Representatives this week. And uh, towards, I guess, about the end of it, things went completely off the rails because Marjorie Taylor Greene turned this meeting into a profane shouting match. As one lawmaker described it, when she got to ask questions, she was yelling out saying bullshit and, you know, I don't believe you. Just screaming and yelling, irrational in my estimation. So Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know, had wanted answers about the balloon. So she's getting answers about the balloon. She's getting the truth about what they found and what we know thus far. And the whole time she's just screaming out, liar, BS, blah, 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 blah. You know, just totally off the rails. So why, right? I, I think that's everybody's big question. It's like, why are you acting like a, like a freak here? Well, Green did tell reporters she confirmed that, oh yeah, I did those things. And she actually boasted about it. She was proud of her idiotic childish behavior during that meeting. Here is what she said. This is what she told the Hill. I had to wait in line the whole time. I was, I think the second to last person and I chewed them out just like the American people would have. I tore them to pieces. I said the president may be a Democrat, but he's still the president of the United States and they made him look like a fool and made him look weak the week before the State of the Union. I've said that publicly too by not shooting it down. And I said there was nothing I heard there today that gave me any confidence in what they did. Oh boy, I tore them to pieces. By, by yelling at them and not listening to the information that you had personally wanted to get. Like you've actually called for house hearings on this thing. And of course, why it flew over the country three times during Trump's administration and Trump didn't know about it. Um, and then you get your information and you hoot and holler like a caged orangutan at a zoo. Like you're, you're just nuts. And then you brag about it. You're like, who boy, man, did I give it to them in there? Just like the American people would have. No, they probably wouldn't have done that. Um, so <laughs> here's, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta point this out too. She's like, I had to wait in line the whole time. I, th I was, I think like the second to last person. So you're just mad. You had to wait in line. So you went full Karen because you were angry. You had to wait your turn to ask questions when everybody else did the same thing and didn't throw a massive temper tantrum. You're a Karen. You're like the lead Karen. You are the queen of the Karens at this point, Marjorie Taylor green. And nobody likes a Karen. I'm sorry, but there's no videos of angry Karens going around the internet where people are like, well, yeah, I think, I think she's right there. And it's too bad nobody got this on film because this is something we would have loved to have seen. But it also shows us, by the way, that Marjorie Taylor Greene is not a serious person. She is not a person that is actively out there trying to get answers for the American people. She's a disruptor. She is a freak. She creates controversy for the sake of creating controversy to the point where it basically prevents anything from actually getting done. That is who she is. That is who she's always been. And it is who she will always be. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.